Welcome to Star Citizen and the Docking Guide. With version 3.13.1, one of the most interesting and immersive features in Star Citizen has reached us. Docking and undocking, whereby we may count not only docking to a station, but also docking and undocking between ships as a new and far-reaching new game mechanic. Therefore, in this guide we will deal in detail with the different docking mechanisms of the ships available for this purpose so far. The docking mechanics are basically identical, but there are differences and subtleties in the handling with regard to ship-to-ship -ship docking or the docking of larger ships at a space station. It is still planned to expand additional ships with a docking function. In the first stage of development, these are the Aegis Hammerhead, the Origin 890 Jump and the ship-to-ship -ship docking of the Constellation series with its Snapfighters. With the new docking feature at stations, it is now possible to spawn the Aegis Hammerhead as well as the Origin 890 Jump at space stations. It is no longer necessary to spawn them on the spaceports on the planets. However, spawning on space stations is limited to the stations in orbit around the main planets. To dock a ship spawned at a space station, we request a launch clearance via the COM menu as usual, whereby the docking boom of the station is automatically retracted after confirmation, we undock and we can begin our journey. In order to dock at a station it is necessary, as before, to send a landing request to the station. In contrast to a landing clearance at a hangar or a pad, however, the docking UI appears after clearance has been given, which gives us information about our docking location. The docking UI is identical for all docking procedures, regardless of the ship. We have the point that shows the horizontal orientation, a point that shows us the vertical orientation and the point that shows us the direction of rotation. Especially with an 890 jump, the particularly is that we have to dock sideways as we have to use the docking locks on the side. So the orientation for docking seems unusual as we have to approach the lock sideways. The coloring of the points plays a decisive role here. If we have reached the correct alignment of a point, it is displayed in green. If the point is still red, there is a need of optimization. In principle, it is possible to use an automatic dock function for docking with pressing the button and long. However, it should be noted that this cannot be cancelled when activated and is carried out very slowly, especially with larger ships and is correspondingly time-consuming. The red rectangle in the docking UI will be discussed in detail later. This is the docking lock display, which must be aligned with the fixed rectangle of the UI. Depending on the proximity and orientation, the red rectangle changes accordingly. As soon as the docking process is completed, the station's airlock at the docking arm opens and the station can be entered with atmosphere and gravity. Furthermore, the dock chip can no longer be steered even with activated systems, as long as no undocking clearance has been given. In the area of ship-to-ship -ship docking, only the Constellation series with the included snapfighters is equipped with the docking function. These small fighters, which are located in the stern, can be accessed from inside the ship directly via the cockpit and, like other ships, can be made flight ready by pressing the R button. As soon as we press the N key, the undocking procedure is initiated and we hover directly below the carrier ship. Docking with the snuff fighter on the Constellation series differs slightly from the ship to station docking. Here we must first mark the carrier ship as target with the T key and reach the distance of less 100 meters. If the carrier ship is not our own, confirmation from the ship's captain is required, who receives this request via his mobiglass. Once we have approval for the docking process, the docking UI appears, which we already known from the docking process to the station. The difference to the Origin 890 jump is that here we can dock straight and very comfortably, which also enables manual docking. To dock successfully, we bring the three different points back into a green area by adjusting the rotation, the horizontal and the vertical inclination. The red square mentioned above shows us how far we are from our docking point. 
The size and orientation of the red square must be brought into line with the large fixed rectangle, which then means perfect alignment and a successful docking. Automatic docking is possible with a long press on the M button. Docking to stations is also possible with the Aegis Hammerhead. As with the Constellation series Snapfighter, the docking process is from the front. And especially with the Hammerhead, manual docking is not only possible, but comparatively comfortable and easy. There are no special features here compared to docking with the 890 Jump or the Constellation series. Docking and undocking is also possible automatically, but as mentioned, it can also be done manually. When docking manually, we again bring our alignment via the dots into a green area, shorten our distance and pay attention to the red square, which represents our dock lock and the docking arm of the station. And then all that left is a little dexterity on the trusses until we close enough to the airlock and be docked. Landing complete, or rather docking complete. And when undocking, we only have the choice of automatically undocking after a release. I hope you enjoyed the video and leave me a like and maybe even a subscribe. The docking feature is long awaited and offers real added value, especially as these are the first stages of expansion. Almost all ships will have the option for docking. Not at stations, of course, but at least smaller ships can then dock at other ships with an appropriate device. This not only offers opportunities for pirates, but also for trading, repairs, salvaging, and of course, Squadron 42 and a few more mechanics. But as always, the most important thing at the end. A big thank you to all Patreons, channel members and Twitch subscribers. You are a real motivation and without you the whole thing wouldn't be possible in this form. Thank you guys, you rock! But as always, I'm interested in your opinions and comments on the topic. Is docking a useful feature or superfluous? Let me know either directly under the video, in Discord or on the Twitch streams. And of course, there will be lots of giveaways again, big ships, small ships and various other items. You can find out how to get there in Discord, in the video description or in the Twitch streams. I say goodbye until next time and say as always, see you in the verse.